Yo, what's up? This is Bobby from Signs of the Swarm, and these are my six songs to die with. So, number one is Mashuga Straws Pulled at Random. Um, if you are a fan of this band, I don't really need to explain this, but they just have this like sense of groove that you just feel in your spine that just forces you to move. I love that. My fiance picks on me all the time because we're riding in the car and I just can't stop bopping my damn head. But this song in particular is really cool. It's very random, ironically, but the whole the whole vibe of the song is just crazy shit, random shit up right up until the end. The last two minutes is just this beautiful instrumental. I feel like the note choicings are really interesting on the guitar. It's one of the songs that made me want to learn how to play guitar as well as drums. But yeah, this album, nothing. Straws pulled at random. Gotta have it. Number two is gonna be Deutschland by Rammstein. I love this band. I feel like people probably don't really expect that from the kind of music that we do, but I take a ton of influence from this band. I love that they've kind of taken this like ACDC approach. It's what a lot of people call it over the years. It's just very simple. They let the music do the talking. I think it's really interesting how a band that's primarily German does almost all of their singing in German. can cross so many language barriers and fill out these huge tens of thousands of people at stadiums in pretty much any country. I, I just, I like, I really love their electronic influences. And I think it's something we've kind of carried over into our band, Signs of the Swarm, subconsciously. A lot of our newer stuff has a lot of more like just electronic stuff in it. And I really love that. I get a lot of that from this band. All right, so number three is kind of interesting. I chose Grey Haven, Echo and Dust Part One. Uh, this is a song that, like my whole band loves. We listen to it a lot on the road. But I came up in kind of like a small underground scene here in Wheeling, West Virginia, where I grew up. And there were a couple like really interesting, cool, chaotic metalcore bands at that time that like I haven't really experienced many bands like that since that time. Aside from growing up like with Dillinger and that kind of shit. But like I think that their sound, they do an awesome job at like mixing this like twang and melody. That that just brings me back to like my childhood growing up going to shows here vfws and stuff and not a lot of bands can kind of like capture that feeling and that sound anymore so they're just one of my favorite bands in metalcore i got to see them and play with them at a festival in texas a few years ago and the ending of the song just hits so hard like We always joke about it in our van, like we just have to kill people <laughs> when this song comes on. It's really interesting for that kind of band. So yeah, definitely, it makes me feel like home. It's a very interesting track. So number four is Rosemary by Deftones. There's no This probably doesn't come as much of a surprise either. I know a lot, a lot of band dudes uh, love Deftone, but I'm a huge fan of Abe Cunningham and his like laid back approach to drumming. It's really heavy and kind of behind the beat. And I think that it makes for a really emotional style of music because even on the softer songs, he's just like super laying into the drums. You can tell he's beating the shit out of them. I think that's awesome. Uh, this song in particular really takes me back to our second time in Japan. We went there in 2020, I think like right before the pandemic. And we always played this song straight after our set and it just kind of like set the vibe for the night. It's just, it sits with me all the time. It kind of takes me back to that place. And Japan is one of my favorite places in the world. Beautiful culture, beautiful fan. And it just kind of puts me in that spot. And I think I would want to hold on to that for the rest of my life. So that would be one of my top picks for this. Number five is Gojira. Absolute no-brainer for me. They're on any list that I put together. Mouth of Kala. I think it's a bit of a controversial opinion, but uh, L'Enfant Sauvage is like my favorite album for them. I think it's an awesome mix of super heavy shit and melody. It's very catchy, very rhythmic and like cathartic. Like you kind of feel it in your chest. The same thing in the Meshuggah vibe. <laughs> Feel in your spine, you feel in your chest, it just makes you want to move. But they're like my go-to band for just like crushing riffs and awesome drums. I think from a drummer perspective, it's like it's just very primal and aggressive. Like Mario's drumming style just puts you in this place of like just... 
you can't not air drum to this shit. The intro to this song has this awesome like quarter note dropouts. It's just like floor tom, and it just feels like it's crushing you, like it, you're just being pulled apart. And I think that's so sick. Like that's the that's the feeling that I look for in heavy music. Like I want something to feel like it's like the weight of it, the crushing. I it's like emotional or musically, lyrically, whatever. Like I think that's really sick. And that's pretty much what I try to do with our band. Not everything has to be heavy traditionally in the sense, but it just has to give you that that feeling of heaviness. And I love that. They're like masters of that in metal. So my last song to die with is Day Lily by Movement. I wanted to throw a bit of a curveball in here because I figured everyone would expect uh, mostly metal coming from a deathcore band, deathcore drummer. I just really appreciate the style of music, especially like on tour as a band, we don't listen to as much metal as you might expect we would. It's not like headbanging all the time, especially after long shows and we have long drives at night. We have some like cool down playlists and usually this is the kind of vibe we go for. It's something to uh, for me to vibe out while I'm driving at night and for the guys to fall asleep to without having to hear slams and, and riffs all night. This band in particular, I've seen them a couple times. The last time I saw them, I want to say it was like last year, maybe 2022. I guess the world was open by then, so right after the pandemic. And I was having a really tough time in my life. Seeing them and hearing this song at that time just like really resonated with me more than it had before. And it's just kind of stuck with me since. And I've kind of kept that feeling with me. So I thought it was appropriate. The album's called Feel Something. And I thought thought it deserved a proper shout out on this list. So those are my six songs to die with and thanks for watching.